Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to automatically upload your HTML email designs directly from Figma into the Send in Blue email platform. So if you're a user of this platform and you'd like to design your emails in Figma and automatically upload them as HTML into the platform, uh, this tutorial is going to show you how. So the first thing we need to do is just go to Figma and open up a brand new Figma file. And if you go up to the resources tab or icon up in the top header here and just search for the word emailify. So that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y and you'll see the emailify Figma plugin pop up. If you just click on that result, you can then run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here or if you want to save it for later, you can click on the more options icon here and click on save Figma plugin and that will automatically save it into your plugins list. So I've already done that. So I'm just going to right click anywhere, go down to plugins, go down to saved plugins, and then click on the emailify plugin that we just uh, set up a second ago. So I'm just going to create a brand new blank email. Uh, so I'm going to call it uh, template uh, send in blue test. And I'm just going to add that to my page. And uh, bear in mind, this tutorial is not going to go into a lot of detail about actually designing the email. If you want to have a look at the details for that, there's a bunch of other videos on the YouTube channel. Just search for Emailify and you'll be able to find those. Today, I'm just going to be really quickly spinning up a really basic email just to show you roughly what this looks like as it gets uploaded into the Send in Blue email platform. So I'm just going to add a few little bits and pieces here. and think that'll do it for today. So I've got my email. You can preview the email by clicking on the preview button. So you can see here, this is HTML. I can upload, uh, widen that out to the desktop size. So you can kind of preview what it's going to look like at those different sizes. And uh, as I mentioned, I'm not going to go into heaps of detail, but you can also customize things like mobile font sizes and mobile spacing and things like that as well. Um, so I'm just going to assume that you've got an email design that you're happy with and all we want to do now is upload it into the send in blue email platform. So I'm just going to click on the export HTML button up here and you can see that this opens up the export options panel. So by default, it's going to export it to an HTML email that you can download to your computer. But in this case, I'm going to actually change that option and go down to the platform integration section and select send in blue. So that's just going to change the options that we've got down here. So there's two different links that we need to have a look at. The first one is the API key. So you need to paste in your send in blue API key. You can click on that link, which will take you to your API keys page if you're logged in to your account. And all you need to do is either grab the API key that you've already got, or you just click on this create new API key button. Uh, you can name the key emailify and then just click generate and then it'll give you this key that you can copy uh, into your Figma account. So I can just do that now. I can do emailify, generate that. And then I'm just gonna click the copy button and jump back into Figma. And I'm gonna paste that into my API key field. And then the second thing we need to add is our sender email. So the sender email is basically the email address that the email is gonna be sent from. And you need to make sure that you've got one set up in your uh, account. So the way you can do that is you can create a new sender. So in the uh, platform, you just go into send in blue, go to the senders page. Um, you can go there by either going to the menu or click on that link. And this is the place where you'll be able to see which email addresses have been approved for sending emails from your account. So in my case, I'm just going to use my uh, email address. So I'm going to copy that email, which has been verified for this account. So I can send emails from send in blue using that account. So it's very important that the email you grab is actually verified and under this uh, list, otherwise it's going to return an error. So I'm just going to grab that email, paste it into the email field. And now I've got my API key and my email. So I'm ready to go. Uh, the last thing you can do is add a subject line. So if you want to say, um, Let's say a new uh, feature update. So this will just add the subject line as well. So that'll automatically get included. So now that that's all done, all I need to do is click on the upload to send in blue button. So I'm going to click that now. This is going to automatically generate the HTML for me, upload all my images, 
and it's going to upload that directly into my send in blue account automatically uh, so i don't actually have to manually copy paste stuff um, so you can see here it's been uploaded successfully we can now go to the send in blue marketing templates page so if you click on that link that's just going to take you to your templates page here so i'll just refresh that because i've already got it open and you can see here the template that we just uploaded has been created in the email templates so we can jump in there and you can see that it's got our sender address that we added it's got our subject line that we added that's pre-populated and the html that we included has also been uh, added in there so you can see what that looks like there um, and you can shrink that down as well if you want to look at the mobile view um, but that's basically it so um, yeah so we can quit that now you can use that template in your campaigns you can send that out from send in blue uh, you can send a preview to yourself if you want to do that as well um, so yeah that's basically it i just wanted to keep this really short uh, and concise for anyone who's wondering how to export html emails from figma to send in blue uh, this is the fastest way to do it um, if you don't want to go about manually coding or manually uploading html uh, into the platform and if you're already a figma user and you want to design your emails in figma and you're also wanting to use them with send in blue then the emailify integration uh, is going to be something that i think you'll be very interested in trying out so um, if you do try it out i hope it all goes well uh, and thank you as always for watching we'll be back soon with more figma tutorials just like this one very soon